Everyone, welcome to the May 11th edition of DraftKings Tournament Plays, presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And as a reminder, you get one free month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum when you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks. Be sure to use the code Awesomeo to receive a 100% first deposit bonus up to $100. Only a seven-game MLB slate tonight, so ownership does, of course, end up being a little bit higher, particularly on the most popular teams and the most popular pitchers. Uh, but as usual, we're going to take a look at three of the top stacks and three of the top pitchers in DraftKings tournaments using the top stacks tool and the top pitchers tool on the awesomeo.com website. Starting with the top three stacks, number three, the Kansas City Royals are taking on Matt Moore tonight uh, in Texas. They are projected for an 8%, they're projected for 8% ownership. They have about a 9% chance of being the top scoring stack. Uh, Matt Moore has kind of just been an average to below average pitcher for a while. Uh, so far this season, he does have a 25.5% strikeout percentage, but he has a 4.43 XFIP. He's walked 20% of hitters. Um, Kansas City has plenty of power, or plenty of speed rather, in their lineup, which makes them appealing in tournaments as well. There is some power in there also. Number two, the Houston Astros projected for about 7% uh, ownership with a 10% chance of being the top scoring stack. They're taking on Chris Archer tonight in Minnesota. Uh, do be aware this is the one game on the slate that does have some weather concerns. So keep an eye on that. Uh, if it gets rained out, don't, don't play them. But for now, assuming that this game goes, uh, they do have a high upside matchup tonight against Archer, who just isn't what he used to be. He's dealt with many injuries over the last few years. So far this season, he does have a respectable 24% strikeout percentage. He has a 4.19 XFIP. He's also allowed 2.33 home runs per nine innings, and he has a double-digit walk rate to go along with it. And number one, the New York Mets projected for 12% ownership with a 13% chance of being the top-scoring stack. They have a five implied run total tonight against Aaron Sanchez in Washington. The Mets have been an above-average offense this year, one of the best offenses in baseball. They have a 117 WRC+, plus, only a 120 ISO, but if you go down this New York lineup, there's a lot of power in it. Uh, I expect that ISO number to increase going forward. Brandon Nimmo, Francisco Lindor, Jeff McNeil, Peter Alonzo, Escobar. Uh, these guys all have power. Starling Marte has some pop and speed, which is nice. Uh, so it looks like a good spot for the Mets, even at relatively high ownership. Now looking at the top three tournament pitchers, number three, Tyler McGill projected for 13% ownership with a 17% chance of being a top two pitcher on DraftKings. He's $9,900 and facing the Nationals in D.C. Washington has a 3.6 implied run total. They are a relatively weak offense. Basically, you have to contend with Juan Soto, Josh Bell, and Nelson Cruz. And after that, you should be able to, to have your way with uh, the Nats lineup. Overall this season, Washington has a 98 WRC plus and a 20.1% strikeout percentage. McGill uh, typically Posts good strikeout numbers, and so far this year uh, has been no exception. He has a 27.7% strikeout rate and a 2.76 XFIP. Number two, Miles Michaelis, 16% projected ownership, 17% chance of being a top two pitcher. He's facing the Orioles tonight in St. Louis. Baltimore has a 3.9 implied run total. Michaelis is $9,100. He's not a great strikeout pitcher. Uh, he has struck out about 20% of, of hitters so far this season, but he does have a 3.69 XFIP. He's only walked 5% of hitters. And Baltimore, while they do have some solid hitters at the top of their lineup, uh, overall, they are a, a below average offense. They have a 97 WRC plus and a 24.6% strikeout percentage so far this season. And number one, Nathan Evaldi, 23% projected ownership, 25% chance of being a top two pitcher on DraftKings. He is $9,400 taking on the Atlanta Braves tonight in Atlanta. The Braves do have a 4.3 implied run total, but there have been plenty of strikeouts to be had in this lineup so far this year. The Braves have a 25.3% strikeout percentage as a team, a 99W uh, WRC+. Plus. I do expect that number to come up because, one, there's just a lot of accomplished hitters in Atlanta's lineup, and two, they've played most of the season without Ronald Acuna, and he's now back. But Evaldi is a good pitcher. Uh, he is reasonably priced at $9,400. So far this season, he has a 26.3% strikeout percentage while only walking 4.4% of hitters. He has a very good 2.91 uh, XFIP. The only issue that he's run into so far is that he has allowed 2.1 home runs per nine innings, but I do expect that number to come down as the sample size grows. So to recap, the top three tournament stacks on DraftKings, number three, the Kansas City Royals, number two, the Houston Astros, and number one, the New York Mets. And the top three tournament pitchers, number three, Tyler McGill, number two, Miles Michaelis, and number one, Nathan Evaldi.